Hey, it's all with what I think is a short 9.2 video. I'm going to talk about how long or about how long it takes to unlock flying in Xerath Mortis. What do you need to do? How long might you be forced to wait? And why this should upset you or might upset you. But whatever the case, this is the PTR. It's just that now is a good time as any to give feedback, maybe get the attention of the Warcraft Community Council so they can help put a light on this. But otherwise, let's go. Here on screen is the big 9.2 feature, the Cypher Research Console, and maybe you're a little bit familiar with it by now if you've watched my previous coverage. In short, it's a fun little upgrade system that gives zone buffs and outdoor world perks and access to customization and cosmetics. Progressing through it employs time and farmable currency to work through, but for now let's talk about time. Each of these research traits requires a research time. It starts off with a few minutes, but eventually upgrades may take a day to research, some up to a week. You can research across these columns concurrently to save some time, but you'll soon learn that that's not a very big deal. At the moment, Flyin is locked behind an achievement for completing all of the ciphers. As of this build, the requirements of this achievement have changed. In the previous build, the achievement required researching at least one point in each of these traits. As you can see, some have only one point, others have two or more. Reaching this goal would take a minimum of 17.25 days, if you can also manage to farm up the currency needed as you go, which happens to be a total of 2,230 ciphers of the first ones. These ciphers are found all over the zone, from dailies and weeklies to world quests to treasures and rares and events. Keep in mind that this whole venture is not a mindless farm and then nothing but waiting. Assuming that you commit to diligent farming, you're going to unlock perks on an almost daily basis. That's going to make traveling easier, it's going to make your character stronger in the zone, and you'll find more things to do. Also important, you can start working towards this goal day one of the patch, so at least at the time, it wouldn't have been surprising if people were flying around while the race to world first was underway. Like I said earlier, that doesn't seem to be the case any longer. After this recent build, I tested researching this first column, and I put one point into each trait, just like before. After completing said research, the achievement no longer tracks that progression. Uh oh. Let's not forget though, we're on the PTR. I should point out another change in this build. This trait here was swapped around with this one, which only requires one point. This could have caused a bug with the tracking of this achievement, where it's still looking at these traits when it should be looking at the traits now in the first column. I'd like to give the benefit of the doubt, but for the sake of responsive feedback, I think we're better off just calling it as we see it. What I see seems really time consuming and work intensive to say the least. If the previous version of the achievement needed about 17 or so days to complete the flight achievement, but the new version needs us to fill out the entire tree, this actually doesn't add as much time as one would assume, because you can research multiple traits at once as long as they're on different columns. Also, at the moment these columns have to be unlocked from left to right, and you can't go down a column until the topmost trait is researched first that unlocks the column. So our attention mostly rests on unlocking the entirety of this fourth column. The time it takes to reach the bottom of this fourth and final column is anywhere between 22 and 26 days. This information is taken from estimates from an earlier build, data mined from MMO Champion. This also assumes that within those 20 some odd days, the player will also need to farm up enough currency and be on top of completing the other research traits in each column as they go along, which means a lot of farming of Xerath Mortis and a lot of babysitting on this research. Let's try to get the full perspective here. This zone feature is not going to be something that progression-minded players are going to hard farm for the sake of competitive rating, and I don't like giving critiques based on the most extreme player behavior. I can see how some people just wouldn't mind the cipher taking long to progress through, or require many weeks worth of diligent farming to unlock flight, and who would otherwise not really care about the minimum time it takes to fly. This feature is for the sake of getting some you know, cool mounts and pets and feeling powerful in outdoor content. Why rush? But now let's go to my feedback. Despite not knowing exactly how this whole crafting mounts and pets thing is going to work, I feel very strongly that even if logically this thing is not a big deal, the research time is 99% unnecessary for the enjoyment of this feature. There's not a lot of excitement when you work your way to buy that new trait, only to click on it and then 
you gotta wait 18 hours or six days in the 18 hours to enjoy it. It sort of takes that thrill away. I know this is not impactful for raiders, but it still makes no difference for the sake of basic fulfillment. You know what felt really cool? Getting a trait from the box of many things, or the titanic research thing from patch 8.3. I already put in the work. Waiting ain't work, even if I can do other things in the meantime, because then why have the wait time? It makes the currency boost that was announced earlier feel pretty meaningless. What's the big whoop in getting more ciphers if I still have to wait as long? And then there's having the lofty requirement of completing the entire tree. It seems like a bit much. Like, hey, thanks for completing the tree and unlocking all these perks. Here's flying to make you forget about most of them. Now, to the team's credit, the research unlocks are as much about exploration as they are about outdoor combat. It's just kind of a conundrum because flying over everything is a very powerful perk. But I also understand the meaning of wanting to let players enjoy the game on the ground for at least a little while. So I'll offer a couple of suggestions and then we'll let the commenters below do the rest of the suggestion and the flaming, that sort of thing. How about we lift the research time entirely? This gives meaning to a currency boost for alts. Players are already going to progress at their own pace too, and there's no competitive advantage, but this is without knowing what else can be explored on the map that might require flight. Or there could be a compromise on research, like only have a research time for unlocking each column, you know, all the top traits, but the rest of the traits just need cipher currency. Speaking just for me, it's not about the work, it's the additional time that gives me a problem, this double gating. It just really sucks that almost every node has a day long wait to it and all the concurrent research does is compel me to farm harder so I can have researches constantly running on every column. And then there's the flying itself. There are mysterious spots here on the map that I mentioned that so far they're impossible to get to, and believe me I tried. If these places are only reached via flight, then I can welcome the notion that flying has unlocked a layer of content in a way that hasn't been done in years, and I appreciate that. If not, then I gotta wonder what's flying even for in Zerath Mortis. I suppose it's for easier farming of materials that let me craft the pets and the mounts, and for alt I guess, if they have any reason to do anything in Zerath Mortis at all. I'll try to end things on a kind of neutral note. I am excited to see what's next, and I did want to share some foot in the mouth feedback because regardless of how I might feel, I just think this grind plus weight is going to stick out like a sore thumb, and it's going to bring back not so fond memories of patch 9.1 and Renown. I hope this gets some visibility, so if you want to help out, like the video, share it with others, and come back soon for more 9.2 coverage. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.